of confessions people or in the hot tub with you middle of the week actually if everybody's sure or you just need some time relaxing to help you sleep i'm going to talk about the diet things you did good this week and the diet things you did bad let's start with the diet things you did good uh almost everything we went out a couple of times and i didn't Totally gorgeous. It's only Wednesday. What do you, it's Tuesday. What do you mean when I'm Oh, you meant this weekend. This week has been great. I haven't done anything bad. I ate a Cheez-It and three M&Ms today. Talk about what you did that was good on diet today, this week, on your diet, nutrition. I'm like, I don't have a diet. You have nutrition the way you eat. So what did you do good? I have 12 potato cakes. Okay, that's good, not good. What did you do good? Oh. How many vegetables did you eat today? Or yeah. yesterday? Oh my gosh. Potatoes. Those potatoes, are but those are starchy. Did you eat any green vegetables? No. Mm. It's only the 21st of May. It still has nine days to consume a green vegetable. I ate five servings of fruits and vegetables today by getting in a small salad. Uh, I had four servings because, you know, okay. I ate a little bit more per serving than you do. Okay, okay, okay. Well, the serving is a serving. It's not what you think a serving is. So like, I double my servings of vegetables. So how many did you have? How many half cup servings did you have? What did I just say? I don't yeah. know. Okay. So what did you do bad this week, <laughs> diet-wise? Let's start with you. Uh, the almond cake at the party was very good. Well, yes, because um, Sunday we went to have brunch, brunch, brunch with some friends at their house. And they made almond cake with almond flour, which if you're keto, was not really bad because there was no wheat flour. Yeah, but I'm sure it was real sugar. It was real, it was bad. It was really good. It wasn't bad, it was good. That's not what we're supposed to eat. What did you do that? Oh, nothing. Let's talk about the 12 potato cakes. Oh, and I had two sliders with that. And I'll leave 12 potato cakes. This is what youth does for you people, youth, because... Only young people can eat Arby's. So talk, how did you, what happened with the potato cakes. How do we get 12 of them? What happened? She brought 20 plus another four for me. And 20 was because they were supposed to be for? The team. So how did you eat 12? Because they didn't ask. So they didn't ask and you didn't tell. You just ate the whole potato cakes for the whole Until team. Until I was full and then I offered them. That's terrible, Kai. Would you like some potato cakes? And they were like, sure. And they ate the rest. What did I do bad? I had some Doritos yesterday, but I said that. Or well, I don't know if it was three yesterday or the day before. It was a kid size bag. I ate on my moves on. I was, and I, it was yesterday because I missed meals. I ate late and that made me more hungry. And when I got home, they were like, I was attacked. They fell into your mouth, huh? They fell into my mouth. I hate it when that happened. So it is Sunday morning. Um, I think that means I'm into week seven. I am on the road traveling, visiting family for the Memorial Day holiday. So we are out doing something different for our cardio. Took a great brisk walk around the beautiful lake in this neighborhood and it's good. Uh, yesterday eating was okay, not really. Since we took the red eye Friday, we didn't It was get terrible. It. I didn't, I didn't ask for the camera crew to talk. So I um, took the red eye and we got into um, DC at 6 a.m. We just kept going, hit the ground running, which meant your food was already off. I did bring food with me, barely made it through security. But of course we went to a birthday party for a 90 year old relative and there was food there. I was able to just eat lean protein and salad and that was fine. Um, this morning it'll be a bit challenge because we have another family party and so we'll be up um, I'm gonna try to stick as close to the diet as possible and hey have, have made myself some small alliances allowances to get my vegetables in not really sure but I'm back in New York I took the train up the Amtrak train um, after the long weekend holiday um, long holiday weekend it was really hard to be around family and not eat or to tell someone 90 years old no you weren't gonna eat that potato salad so I had a little, tried not to overdo it, but now I'm back on track. Um, I would love to try and take a different exercise class every night that I'm here in New York, but let's see what happens.
in with my family. I think I overdid it a little, only um, in terms of my um, heel injury, hurt, I don't know. I uh, went running, which was awesome to run outside because the weather's not great in Seattle most of the time, so we don't do a lot outside, or at least I don't. Um, but then I wore these flat shoes with no support all day, um, and I suffered like for a day and a half. Yesterday, I did what I was supposed to, getting to New York, but it was like getting on the train with all these bags, with a foot that you didn't want to stand on, was not great. And I'm talking Amtrak train um, to get here. Uh, but I felt a lot better after wearing the proper footwear yesterday. Um, got up at the crack of dawn and went for a treadmill run, which was much better and easier on my body. So today I'm going to try to do some other different kind of exercise tonight while I'm here. I'm going to take advantage of all the things that New York has to offer. I'll correct it. Uh, the week was okay. I, I didn't eat what I wasn't supposed to. Um, if anything, I did the opposite and didn't eat anything, which is not good. I was so busy on a couple of the days that I was here that I just kept hard charging and I would just try to get all my meals in and that was, that. I know that's not good. But at any rate, I plan to have a great day today. I'm going home. Um, I also didn't get to go to the various different kinds of exercise classes that I wanted to do, so I did the same thing because I just worked too late. Um, I find that when I'm on the East Coast, I work on both East Coast and West Coast time, so mm, I'll have to figure out a way around that, but the only way through forward is through, I guess. Um, this is normal life, so you have to figure out a way to fit your fitness into your life. I did run into, I ripped my toe open with a door, wearing open toe shoes at work, so the door, glass door swung in, in a room that was too small, and it just like, so um, thankfully it doesn't didn't hurt, doesn't hurt now. I just wore closed toe shoes the next day. Uh, there was blood everywhere. Um, my heel does not hurt. After the starting the week riding Amtrak with a heel, I was like, okay, I'll walk on this. But it's totally gone. Um, I tried to wear heels every day and that seemed to help. And I also wore the brace, even though it was ugly. I